So, just went through into there to have a look. I didn't like anything there. So I think I'm gonna go hang over here. I should be able to find a, a spot where there's a, a calm area and throw an anchor in. It's pretty in here at least. And there was just swamp. Didn't care for that at all. cabin there. I imagine anchoring in front of that would be frowned upon. Another one along there. So and that's probably why they, well like I mean right in front, right? Because I like getting close to shore so that I have the most shelter. Yeah, I might as well scoot shore hour here before dark. I could throw an anchor there. That would be the best sheltered spot that I see. But I bet you that sign says, you know, no anchoring within 30 yards or something is my guess. So this is where I'd like to be, right in here. Look at how cozy this is. If I get into trouble, I wash up on a friendly beach. Oh, this is like a tent thing. Very cool. Ah, I like it. Attention. What's attention here got to say? Let's see. Attention. Well, you know what? I'll go push my way up. Right on. Attention. Still can't read it. Un, un something. <laughs> oh. okay, we'll shut this down. Post in in case we hit something. And then I can read the sign, right? Unsupervised beat, swimming in pa play, uh, plague, non supervised. So I'm going to hit. And get pushed off. Okay, doesn't say I can't anchor. Here, isn't this pretty? This is actually a little inspirational. Hmm, Deanne, you know what I'm thinking. That's kind of cool. Okay, unsupervised beach. Well, no reason I can't uh, pull up over here, hang, and then push off and uh, anchor right in this nice sheltered spot. Perfect. That's what I'm going to do. And I can go sit and have dinner, my sandwich on the picnic table or in the pavilion. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I can take a walk and have a closer look. I like it. So isn't this interesting? Some things are kind of uh, uh, meant to be, whatever, whatever. So I have a, uh, a project that I'm interested in doing and this sort of gives some inspiration. Look at here. Uh, too bad I can't peek in, but basically um, that's very cool. So it kind of looks like an A-frame. I have a little camp trailer. A little camp trailer that uh, I was thinking of getting a tent to fit, but this is so much better. Oh, poison ivy, look out. Lots of it. I guess I'm not going to, I was going to walk around the back and just see what's there, but I'm guessing not won't be windows back there. I can go along the trail a little bit. We have a fire pit here and amongst all the poison ivy. Funny poison ivy, once it gets established somewhere, I just want to see, like, like, see that? Tiny, but poison ivy. I, I just am getting over some on my wrists, so. Oh, the back has a couple windows. Okay, yeah, for a cross, cross draft. Makes sense. So this is interesting. Looky here. That's kind of cool. Okay, so my plan is not to step on poison ivy. <laughs> my plan is to make myself something to eat. I'm gonna take a walk over to this pavilion. 
make myself something to eat and then throw the anchor down and keep a bit of an anchor watch. I have, I have a soup I could cook, but you know, I might, might cook it. I wonder, is the water running? Are you kidding? Is there a hot shower to be had? Oh, no way. No way. That's not hot though, <laughs> but there's a shower and a foot bath to be had. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know if you saw that. And a nice pavilion here. So, um, basically, I think you got to pay to be here. So, I'm not here, technically. I'm just dropping, stopping. <sighs> That's a little artsy-fartsy. <laughs> Okay, and I'll take a walk, not through the poison ivy, I keep saying. Um, more of it right there and all in under there. So it could be mixed in with this stuff, which would hide it. And, and frankly, maybe a little baby ones growing up, they start out red. So I was looking at the other bay and it was way too swampy. So I thought I'd come over here and I see the docks, but I just came from a dock. Like I went through all the trouble of tying up and it's very frustrating when you go through all that trouble to pull in, to tie up, only to find out that it wasn't overnight. So while there is a boat over on that one, I'm not convinced it's, it's overnight. Uh, it might be just day use. So let's take a walk over and see the world a bit. It's fairly fairly calm here. It's sand, so I should get a good bite with the with the uh, anchor. Hmm. I see a boat sailing in the distance there. Very nice. And what is this? Oh, <laughs> a stone chair. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, we need a picture of me in the stone chair, of course, right? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to... Over the shoulder is the boat there. There we go. So I'm in the stone chair. Oh, the scenery is gorgeous. Oh, look at that, that old pine, eh? Hmm. So I'll be coming back to the boat shortly. And then I'll push off and, and throw it. And I'll get my anchor ready and push off and throw my anchor down. And the wind's supposed to tilt to northeast and north. So I still should have good shelter. I was going to try and go in here, but look at the, the swamp, eh? Here you really see what glacial uh, action uh, has caused. It had to have been water running, you know, boulders grinding, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah. Well, panorama. Okay, I got a beautiful spot. Hopefully, hopefully uh, I don't get any grief for... Like I say, I'm going to anchor. Oh, I better, and before I go, I better top off gas. Well, I can always stop somewhere else. Probably wise to just go and then stop elsewhere and uh, pull up and do my, my um, porridge. Just grab a granola bar and, and get off offshore. Well, not offshore, but like in a different spot to a good staging spot on the south end of Bosley.
then pull up on the sandy beach there and have a have a oh you know that is even an idea for tonight but I'm not go, I'm not moving anymore so we'll leave it at this mm -hmm. the size of these snails that's escargot on a grand scale eh look at that and I tossed one that still was sealed back well, I tried to get him back in the water, so I missed and hit a branch. So the little fellow that's dwelling in there probably didn't appreciate that, but, you know, the he has a chance now. He just has to start crawling, right? <laughs> and, uh, and I'll take a break, and then... Um, come out and get anchor out and voila. So the sun is peeking through. I put an anchor out, but fairly close to shore, uh, that if I swing toward shore, I don't care if I hit something toward shore, but I should just swing clear maybe. We'll see. Uh, I'm just setting up my candles. Let's see, where's the rope here? It's somewhere there. So the wind can shift. It's the way I'm expecting it. Uh, it should shift so that I end up pointing that away. But this is as nice a spot as I could find. I had another spot picked out. It would have been windier, actually. So I'll have a good night. But it's going to be cold. Frost, uh, two degrees maybe. So I'm going to set up my candle heater and have that going. I'll put the alcohol stove on as well. Might cook up a hot chocolate coffee-ish thing. Evening coffee. That might be interesting. Something warm in my belly that doesn't let me sleep so I can go watch my anchor. <laughs> oh, here. Now we should be pushed fairly tight. Yeah, see, there's the, there's the line there. You can just see right there. And I have company. So ideally, I don't drift back into all the expensive boats. That'd be bad. <laughs> that's, that's where I don't I don't go near expensive stuff normally. I like I like my cheap. I can fix it myself, sort of thing, right? I really like that tent concept. That is very interesting to me. Very interesting. We're going to see what we can plan with that. Hmm. Okay, sun streaming through. Although I'm chilled out here, actually, of which I should close the door. Ah, I took my jacket off and whatnot. Look how pretty that is. Oh. Anyway, um, and the dead birches on the shore there. Wow. This is a nice bay. I'm glad I pushed off and, and, and carried on. Uh, just the inspiration of this A-frame tent thing. Oh, there's one over here, you know, which I've already videotaped. Just that inspiration, that right there is so worth, yeah, right there. Look at that. You can see the bloody hair on the end of my finger. Isn't that funny? Anyway, yeah. Gotta like it. And seeing the couch up on the hill there, that was fun too. So, I'm pooped. Had a long day, a good day. Get here till, I think it's almost around 8 o'clock and settled in just now. Um, it's going to be a cold night. I have one, uh, one uh, eye open. <laughs> Those are eyes, by the way, um, just in case you didn't notice. So, Crow has eyes and can see where she's going. Uh, <laughs> that's supposed to be. So, I have my candle lamp going. Uh, at night, I move it back over the stove position, uh, where I have the stove down here. Stove's not out yet, but... And uh, those are 12-hour candles, so they'll last me till morning and keep it cozy. This is an insulated cabin, so uh, uh, for the most part. The front deck underneath is insulated, the ceiling's insulated uh, under the... Um, under the uh, bench seat is insulated 
and uh, so forth. So the side walls are not, but they're three quarters of an inch thick. Quarter inch Lexan helps. Uh, it's not like one eight. And uh, I have this foam pad I use for flooring, and I've put some inside the other cabinet. So it's a half inch of um, insul three eighths of insulation, essentially off the bottom. And it was a cheap way to make it look like wood, and it would be helpful if I didn't burn it, right? <laughs> By dropping a, a hot grill on it. Visit RoyDesignThat.com for boat plants. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh, look at the sunset. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's cooking. That's not warm yet. I have it just on low. You just see it flaming, flaming along there. So the object is... Uh, That'll burn out in a couple hours when I'm ready to go to bed, but it'll have warmed up the interior of the cabin pretty nice. And, uh, yeah, nice spot actually. And I have to remember my anchor light tonight. Not that I'm anchored that far from anywhere, but well, I'm really close to shore, so I don't imagine being ram, but you never know better to have it. Yeah, there's just a little bit of a swell coming in here. So I suppose boats are on the move further on out and the wakes wakes come in or possibly uh, waves that are being generated out there are, are uh, rounding the point and sort of uh, leaving a bit of a ripple in here. But like I say, I don't really feel it until I look at the lamp. So oh, it's cool out here, but the cabin's nice. But I'll open the door, let some fresh air in for a little bit. I got two lamps open, or sorry, two windows open. Put the running light on, and uh, well, the, uh, the anchor light and the running light. Um, battery should manage that for the night. And uh, yeah, it's cold out here. I'm going back in. <laughs> So I have my, my uh, cooker going here, my stove, uh, alcohol stove, and I have my candles. And I have my, both eyes open and there's a vent uh, above the, the candles. So, oh yeah, big difference. You come in here, it's t-shirt weather. Nice night. Well, cold night. Nice boat that I can be warm. Book's going good. Oh, time for my beer. Before it gets too dark, a couple cabin cruisers have come in. So I guess you can overnight on that on that launch. Uh, sorry, on that dock. But I was in no mood to tie up again, only to be turned away. So at the time I came, there was only the one small boat there. For all I knew, they were heading home. So I'm in company with a sailboat and another motor cruiser. I'm over on this side. So I'm fairly sheltered. You see some rippling there. But the wind is blowing through the trees to some degree, but not, not horrendously. I have two vents open and I have two sources of heat right now. One also, I like the candles because um, they give a nice light, um, but I'm warm in here. It's quite nice. And yet I feel the fresh breeze blowing through. So um, the air doesn't smell stagnant or anything, but I would not be lull the candles fine with the, with the, uh, at least one. I, with the candles alone, I would close one and have that center vent, which has a little push-up thing that opens it up, and it's a rainproof vent uh, on, on the cabin top. And then one of these, that way some air cycles through, putting all the stuff up on the shelf there. That's one thing I learned from Whisper. I had a shelf, and rather than just the cabin coming to an end, uh, well, you can't put nothing up on that. 
having a shelf is so handy just to get things out of the way. And that corner has turned into a bit of a, you know, throw wall, but that's okay. And uh, my cook cook, cook stove, uh, alcohol stove is housed and going in there. I got myself a hiking stick from a beaver dam. How authentic is that? And I was reading, but then I thought, I'll just drink my beer and look at my map of Bosley and enjoy, enjoy hanging food right beside me <laughs> so I can pick a carrot as I want one. And that is my, my supper tonight. <laughs>